This presentation will cover calculating the heat, uh, heat of reactions or enthalpy heat of reactions. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and list some steps for calculating. Uh, let's look at what the formula is going to be. It's going to be the delta H of reaction. The triangle stands for delta. Delta H of reaction is equal to the sum of the products. In other words, you add up all the products together minus the sum of the reactants. Here are the steps that we're going to follow. First of all, find the heat of formation for the substance in the table. All these tables will be given to you. One thing that is important here, anything that is a singular element, in other words, if the element is all by itself, it has, it's going to have a value of zero. It will not appear in the table. Uh, you're going to multiply the heat of formation by the coefficient. Some of the reactants, you know, some of the products, and then some of the products minus the sum of the reactants. Let's take a look at an example. Here's our equation. Notice that it is balanced. You've got to make sure the thing is balanced before you start, because if not, it just doesn't work out for you. Okay? So here we have two moles of carbon monoxide gas plus O2 gas to produce two moles of CO2. So we're going to take the two times the 110.5 plus zero. That's going to be for our reactants. For our products, it's going to be the two coefficient times the negative 393.5. Now, the negative 110.5 and the negative 393.5 come up from a table, and you'll see that table in the next slide. Okay? So go ahead and do the math here. Two times the negative 110.5 it's going to give you negative 221, and 2 times negative 393.5 is going to give you a negative 787. Now, once you do this, over to the side, I want you to take the product, and the product's going to be the negative 787 point, or negative 787, and you're going to subtract the 221. So it's going to be negative 787 minus ne negative 221, which is going to give you a negative 566 kilojoules. That's going to be your answer. That's what you're looking for. Okay. Let's take a look at another example. Calculate the delta H of the reaction. This is a practice. I need you to use the heat of formation table to calculate the heat of the reaction. In other words, you're going to use the values inside this table. So the first thing we need to do is we need to find the C2H5OH. That's going to be ethanol. That's going to be like a fifth one from the bottom on the left-hand side. Notice it has a value of negative 277.7. Okay. So that's how you, you would find that, use that table. Go ahead and stop the presentation now and work the problem out. Oh, before I go, notice that the oxygen has a value of zero. The carbon dioxide is in the middle of the table. It's a negative 393.5. And the water, the water is a gas. The little g tells you it's going to be the water that is the gas, which is the little g, which is the last one. The last one, the negative 241.8. Go ahead and do the work. And if you've done the calculator correctly, calculation correctly, the answer is going to be a negative 2469.4 kilojoules. Okay. Go ahead and go on to the next page. And let's see the work. Okay. To show the work here, uh, we're going to have 2 from the coefficient times the negative 277.7 plus the 0. Notice that oxygen right there is all by itself, so it has a value of 0. And then you're going to have 4 times the value for CO2 plus six times the value for H2O. Four times the negative 393.5 plus six times the negative 241.8. Go ahead and do the math now on the left-hand side. Two times negative 277.7 is going to give you a negative 555.4. On the right-hand side, four times 393.5 gives you a negative 1574. And then 6 times negative 
14.8 gives you a negative 1450.8. Go ahead and add those two things on the right hand side and let's see what you get. Go ahead and put it into your calculator just like it says negative 1574 plus a negative 1450.8. When you do that you should get a negative 3024.8. Once you have two individual numbers, now go ahead and say the product, in this case the product value is going to be a negative 3024.8 minus the negative 555.4. When you do that, you should end up with a value of negative 2469.4 kilojoules. Okay? And we'll get some additional practice with this. So in summary, here's the important points that you need to carry out. The heat of reaction or delta H reaction is going to be the sum of the products minus the sum of the reactant. Once again, be sure to write down each step. That will prevent you from making errors. And if you do make an error, you'll be able to go back and figure out where that error occurred. Okay. Thank you guys.